this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, October 30th, through this coming Sunday, November 5th, 2017. And this week we're, re we're beginning with Halloween. We're beginning with Samhain. So that's the thinning of the veil, signifying the fruits of our harvest and the days becoming shorter until the winter solstice. And it's wonderful because you can personally embrace your connections to the spirit world more clearly at this time. And for many, your calling to begin your spiritual path and growth cannot be denied. So allow your spirit teachers, mentors, and growth to increase. And then the week ends with the full moon. <laughs> the full moon is going to be November 4th, Saturday, in Taurus. And the energy of this full moon flows perfectly from the new moon in Libra that was October 19th. And also last week's reading about the transformative energy of 2017 is still aligning with you. So this Taurus full moon, she grounds you to Mother Earth and blesses you with her fertile abundance and breathtaking beauty. It's all the Taurus energy. The moon is nurturing you as Mother Earth feeds you. And you are reminded that you are supported. You have a beautiful life. Your health is vital and it's improving. And your money is reliable and ever increasing. All of the ideas and things that you value have been invested in. And you are now going to reap their bountiful goodness. You have been improving your personal environment. And you can see the positive results of these investments. And your spiritual needs and base are secure. You are allowed and encouraged to endure, to indulge <laughs> your self-sustenance and your personal needs and the things that bring you happiness along with security. Allow this full moon to ground you. If you have been feeling unfocused or distracted or too influenced by others, place your feet flat on Mother Earth and invite her lovely energy to flow up through the soles of your feet to fill your entire being and your aura with her primal, comforting, rooted, maternal, nurturing love. This is going to reclaim your energy and it's going to fill you completely and your life and decisions will then become for your for you for your for yours the little I want to say for yours alone and it's going to fill your cup to give you strength and sustenance and willpower and love to move forward confidently you can then take stock of your life and reestablish your self-worth and review your needs and determine your desires. And in this process, let everything go that is not in alignment with your greatest happiness and the joy of living your highest potential. You are alive and the world around you is alive and your soul, it's calling you forth to embrace all of your living wealth. Fantastic energy this week. Beginning with Halloween and Samhain, and then ending with the full moon. I can't wait to see our cards. My favorite part. All right. I'm gonna lay these out, and then I'm gonna go over each one to give you a complete reading for the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. So these cards have flow. This is a very definite flow forward for you. And we're going to start with the Ten of Fire. For me, <laughs> to me, this is the card of carrying burdens. 
it's the card of sort of you've been carrying burdens for, you know, like you got a big old bundle in your arms that doesn't belong to you and you've been carrying it for way too long. So it's just time to set that big old bundle down. It's so big you can't see over it. Just set it down. Set it down and then shake your arms out and walk ahead. Walk on to your life. Your, that all that alignment we were talking about with the Taurus full moon. Tens are doorways. You go through that doorway, you get your new beginning. Fire is taking action. So it's saying pay attention in your life to where there is too much work. Accept help for others. <laughs> Add to that by delegating to others the things that you don't absolutely need to do yourself. It's going to bring you back into balance. You're way out of balance carrying all those big bundles of burdens that don't belong to you. And any health concerns, any headachey, you know, achy anything, it's just stress. <laughs> just let that stress go. You don't need to keep carrying all that stuff that doesn't really belong to you. So this is about bring, you know, letting go of the burdens, letting go of the stress to bring yourself back into balance. Delegating anything that you don't need to be doing yourself. And then the five of air, I feel like this has sort of been our card the last month or two. There's been a couple of these that keep coming up, reminding you to walk away <laughs> from anything that's not honoring you. If it's not honoring you, then it's wasting your energy and your time. So take what's yours. Just bundle up the goodness. In the, in the card before, you let go of the bundle that was stress and wasn't related to you. And then this is about pulling together your gifts and your talents and your goodness and carrying it forth away from the things that have not been honoring you. And... Those were lessons, those were learning experiences, and you can reap everything you can from that wonderful personal growth. But it's not about, you know, engaging with that energy anymore. There are some things you need to move away from. And they're going to emphasize this even more strongly <laughs> with life experience. This is like the tower in the regular tarot deck. So it's saying, you know, something's changing. Something's ending, you know. They're all jumping out the windows. So <laughs> the universe is taking care of something so better things can come in for you. And that powerful revelation is going to lead you to positive change. Please don't avoid change. Please don't pull back and hesitate from change. Because change is positive, always. When, you know, we're afraid of it before change because we don't understand what's on the other side. But nine out of ten times, it's good change. The times that it's not is the times that you've done change for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> so paying attention to your positive forward momentum is going to give you the positive change that you desire. And this is all about spreading your wings, which is going to come up again later in the reading. So think about how you want to spread your wings and think about what you want to be experiencing and embracing the new adventures and the new experiences that life is bringing you. Archangel Shamuel can help you with this and allow things to change. It's going to happen. It's all good. You're ready. The two of air says once you get that change, then you're going to be able to make your decisions. This is you've been procrastinating and holding back on making a decision. And that energy is going to change this week. There are going to be things that are going to be revealed to you that are going to allow you to make the best decision possible. And this card, I'm always reminded, you're sitting on firm ground. You're not, you know, everything around you is calm and you have the intuition flowing to you that's going to help you make the best decisions possible. So no more stalemates and no more avoiding <laughs> the decisions you need to make. It's all going to come into alignment. I like that. 
And then we shift with the middle card, the Empress. Yes, I love this. She's creativity. She's expansion. Three is boom. Things taken off in your life. She wants you to understand what have you been gestating? What have you been thinking about? What is that creative idea that you want to take action on? You've got the ideas. You've got the understanding and she says in your own unique way, you're ready to bring that out into the world. And it's going to bring you all this lavish abundance. So give birth to your dreams. She's holding the little baby. That little baby is your dreams. <laughs> yours, not anybody else's, just yours. And beautiful full moon and Taurus energy of nurturing yourself and others as you go along the way and ask Archangel Gabrielle to help you with this. So yes, what is this idea that you're ready to act upon? The Queen of Fire is increasing this energy of the Empress. It's also pulling directly off of life experience above it because she is absolutely the spread your wings card. Spread your wings and fly and soar and ooh, all that. The world is alive and you are alive energy that they were talking about with the full moon. It's now ready. You've got your security. So what's your highest potential? What are the dreams that you want to experience? You are confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Allow all those attributes to serve you this week and allow yourself to align with other people who are confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful to give you the solutions that you need. Queens are solutions. <laughs> so the answer to what you're seeking is to stretch your wings and fly and don't underestimate. And I love this. Assert your independence and your creativity higher octave of the Empress. The Queen of Fire takes action to bring solutions into her life of all those creative ideas that the Empress has been gestating and growing and nurturing for you in your heart and in your mind. So very positive alignment here after letting go of all these burdens. <laughs> then the Ace of Air is a new beginning. Brand new beginning. This is an intellectual beginning. It's, you know, a, taking action on those brilliant ideas and all that inspiration and all that creativity of the cards before it. And it's, you know, helping you through seeing the truth of moving forward. And yes, it might be a lot of hard work in the beginning and it might be challenging, but the rewards are that much greater. The rewards are so worth it. So go ahead and, and put yourself to work and allow your thoughts to come into fruition and allow people to help you to get these things going. <laughs> I love this energy. And then the nine of water. So maybe those first three cards were a little bit difficult. The nine says, oh, it's so much worth it. Because <laughs> this is the wishes granted card. This is your wishes coming true and your concerns fading away and you understanding how wonderful your life is and being truly and genuinely able from the bottom of your soul and the depths of your heart to say, I love my life. I have the most blessed, amazing life. And yes, I handle everything that comes along as it comes along and then it just keeps getting better. And it just keeps getting easier. And it just keeps getting more in alignment with what I want to experience. Because I am allowing, there's a fly, hello, um, positive change. I'm allowing things to change. I have a winter fly <laughs> in my house enjoying the nice heat. So nine is culmination. Everywhere you've been has brought you to this point. And it's good. You have the wisdom and the knowledge and the experience to affect all the things that are going to allow you to recognize that your wishes have come true. You wake up and you can realize, I created all this. <laughs> and here I am. It's where I wanted to be. 
And then the hermit reminds you to go within. Your answers are within. And his little heart light and his lantern beckons you forward. That's your heart. That's your soul intentions. That's your alignment to your source and to all the things that you wanted to experience, all those alive and living things that express your greatest happiness and your highest potential. And Archangel Raziel can help you with this. It's another nine, <laughs> which is culmination. Everywhere you've been has brought you to where you are now. Leads to the ten, which is a doorway. You go through the doorway, you get your one, which is your new beginning. And that, if you listen to last week's reading, is the energy of this year, 2017. It's a year, ten year. So they're reminding you for your balance. Going back to the first card, your balance, all that goodness to go within, to just spend some quiet time, to breathe, to go back to that putting your feet flat on the ground. And you don't have to go outside. You can do it inside with your shoes on. <laughs> but, you know, it comes through the connection with your heart. But placing your feet flat and connecting to the core of Mother Earth. And all of the nurturing and loving and beautiful energy that she has to share with you to ground you. So you're no longer distracted and unfocused and listening to everyone else's desires. You're focused on your own desires and what is important to you. It's your own self-discovery. This is also... Um, this energy this week is opening you up to your personal spiritual path and your teachers and people that can help you. So beautiful energy to end this week with our very active fly. Sorry about that. Um, I would love to give you a reading to very specifically address your life. Your soul intentions. I call in your council of spirit guides and angels and loved ones and entities of the highest white light. And I share all those things with you that they're telling me and showing me for your personal alignment. And, and the burdens that you need to let go. <laughs> the things that you don't need to keep you know, carrying and the creativity that you want to create. All of that is found in your reading and gives you answers and clarity and understanding and support and guidance so you can move forward in your happiest way. All the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.